Yeah, in this video, we are going to learn uh, how to do a automatic clearing. So for that, what we'll do is first, uh, we'll post one debit and the credit entry and then uh, we'll see how we can utilize the transaction and how we can make a configuration if needed. So intentionally, uh, I have not done the free configuration so that uh, we'll understand the better uh, way of uh, how to do the setups and all for the automatic clearing. So first, what we will do is we'll go to transaction FB60 and post the sum debit and the credit entries. So we'll take the vendor invoice. So let's say this is my auto invoice. Automa for automatic clearing, I am creating this invoice and the amount I will give it as 33,000. 33,500. Okay, and uh, give the GL account here. So the same amount, I will put a star. Auto invoice, I will give you the information in the text also. And then, We'll go to a cost center, give the cost center as US Bank. Okay, so I have given one debit entry. So I will show you the document display of this one. So the vendor account is been credited here. Okay, so vendor account is been credited and the purchase account has been debited. So purchase account. So we want to clear this vendor account which is in the negative amount here right so that we want to clear in the automatic clearing so i will go and post one more transaction that will be my fb65 credit memo so we'll post credit memo we'll take all the information same as it is So here I will say it, credit memo, okay. Select this information, give the same information in the text and go to the cost center, provide a cost center details and save it. So we have created one credit memo and one uh, debit memo. Now we'll go to FPL1 and report and see how it is showing up. So we can see here one credit memo that is this one. So let's sort it out by date. So here, uh, this is a line item which we want to, we have posted 33,500 and the 33,500. So one amount it is showing as uh, debit amount, one amount it is showing as credit amount. For this, uh, SAP has given an automatic clearing option. So select this option, mm. control Y and select this vendor. Now I will go to F.13. So F.13, so as we have a debit and the credit amount, so I just, I don't want that to be showing as open items in my uh, FBL 1N report. So for that, uh, so if I don't want to show them in the report, so what I can do is I can do a auto clearing. So here I have the options of auto clearing, GL accounts, auto clearing suppliers. So I will select the suppliers and if you want, you can select the customers also customers option we have, suppliers option we have, and the GL account option. So this is something related to customer supplier. So we'll select supplier and give the supplier number over here, which we have copied. Okay, so let's say it's not getting copied, not an issue. So I will put the company code as Tata Motors US. And I will select from the drop down option here and execute. 
select the supplier and uh, for we have the option here uh, running it in the test run so always run first in the test run so go back and execute it in the test run so when i am executing it so it's not showing up me any options so it is not showing up me saying that these are the documents have been try means it's trying to clear so that is not getting populated here so for that reason uh, there is a basic settings or a basic configuration which we have to do in our configuration for that uh, the transaction code is op74 enter this op74 transaction code and here you need to give the uh, details so i will say these are all uh, learning purpose some people has given this information so sap has given you know, all these uh, five options to clear the document so based upon what uh, you want to clear so this information has been given So click on new entry and give a, so here uh, there are options like account type. So for D means it will be uh, for customer. So I will show you all the options. So customer D vendor K and for GL account, it will be S. So these are the options which SAP has given. And now we are talking about K. So for supplier, it will be a K and any GL accounts from to two GL accounts, if you want to give, you can give, or you can keep it blank. And then now these are the five options, which uh, from which options you want to clear. Okay, so here we don't have, it's not showing up any options, right? So, now we'll go back, not go back, we'll click on new entries. Or first we'll try to get the details so for that details what we will do is we'll try we should have some common right so uh, what will we do is uh, we'll try to find the common is amount so go to sc 16 and PSAC table and company code as Tata Motors US and execute it So here we have a different amount, local amount, local currency and all. Just double click on it. So these are the amounts which we have. So uh, I will go with uh, WRBTR amount. So if WRBTR amount is matching, then you clear it. So we'll go again. Oh, B74 and click on new entries. I will say Tata Motors operational chart of account for K. I will not give any uh, transaction details. If WRBTR is matching, required entry of an account number not made. So is it asking for the GL accounts? Okay, uh, let's put it as A. One, two, nine, 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 nine. So I want to apply, apply for all my vendor details. So it should be uh, taking WRBTR as my account and try to match and uh, do the clearing back now this is not required somebody has created a blank let's delete and save this one okay now we'll go to our transaction f.13 again company code as Tata Motors US supplier select and give your transaction and execute it. Now you can see here, 
there are uh, other transactions also showing up like 10,000, 11,000, whichever is there, it is showing up. But for the one which we have created, 13,500 and 13,500 is showing debit and credit balance and the net balance it is showing as zero. So here it is show. No, for here, the net balance is showing as 10. There is a difference. Okay, so that is the reason it is not getting clear. And here, but for this particular transaction, it is showing as, uh, and here also you can see the clearing transactions has been showing up. Okay, uh, before uh, clear, I will show my dashboard also FBL one end and execute it just to see that 33,500, 33,500 here and the 33,500 is sitting under open item. If I select all items also, if I scroll down, so I don't see anything uh, which is uh, related to 33,000 in my clear items. Okay, so let's session F.13 and always uh, be uh, try to select in the first and it is the test run so go and select it in the test run execute it again i'm just and go back remove your test run so now uh, we'll just go and remove the test run and execute it yeah, just press enter. The pro program is running in the production run. Yeah, that is fine. Now you can see that the document has been created. And also you will see that the document has been updated here. Now we'll go to our transaction FBL1N. And execute it. So you will not see that uh, 33,500 now here. We'll go back again and select all item and execute it. So you will see that uh, 33,500 is been uh, showing as a clear item now. Thank you.